All right, welcome back to Two Men and a Hat. This is part two of our Watchmen instalment, and for this instalment, we're going to be talking about the ending of Watchmen. So do not watch this if you have not read Watchmen or if you haven't seen the film. Spoilers yeah. within. We've got big spoilers. Spoilers within. Yeah, this is the ending. Spoilers. So go. Spoilers from now. Spoilers. Okay, the ending of Watchmen. Spoiler. It turns out one of the main characters in Watchmen, one of the Watchmen, has created an imaginary alien enemy to unite the world against this made-up force. Yeah, and in the middle of a cold war between America and Russia, they unite to beat the common enemy of the alien. That's right. So, do you think that this could ever actually happen in real life? See, I do. I really do think it could work, because uh, if you can get a big enough uh, possibility of the Earth actually being destroyed, I think the warring tribes and warring uh, countries could come together to defeat it, if it's just a big enough possibility. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. I think if, if there's ever a situation where our very existence is threatened, yeah. I think there's the potential for the whole race to unite. Yeah, policies put on the back burner are kind of like, how do we deal with this? doesn't matter as much as just protecting your own hide as such, I think. That's right, yeah. But I mean, do you not think that there's a real problem in kind of uniting all these disparate races and countries in one unified effort? I suppose that is a problem. It's kind of a question of who would lead. I mean, um, you've got such strong, strong personalities within these countries. Who then guards against the alien invasion or what have you to actually unite Earth? It's a difficult question. I don't know if it will work. So, so, well, yeah, in I'm conclusion, really... do you think that the human race could unite against a common enemy? No. No. 